So we're almost there. Very modular, change the case, stick your magnet there. Let's say you want the blue one there. But we're not here to talk about this today. Today, we're going to talk about my keyboard choice. This is such an interesting device. I was looking around for what type of keyboard I'm going to use. I wanted a keyboard that fits the character of the DSK2 Cyberdeck. But you know, today we're not talking about the Cyberdeck. We're almost there. Next episode, definitely, we are going to dive into this and talk about everything about it, what it has taken to be able to design something like this. This is one of those things that might lead you to jail, working for a government or teaching. Let's talk about it. This is the M5 card pewter. As they say, it's a computer. It has 56 keys, so it has a keyboard. It's basically a tiny computer with a 1.4 inch screen. And what it can do just blows your mind. I've been having it for a minute and I really enjoy it tinkering around with it, playing around with it, and checking out its functions. But its functions are, can be very dangerous, and this video does not promote that type of danger, but also can be very educative, can teach you a lot about security, can teach you a lot about how the internet works, how Wi-Fi works, how Bluetooth works, and many other functions. It's a M5 computer. ESP32, infrared, microphone, on and off button, and has a SD card. You can be able to add more things on the side and also regulate the power, whether you want five volts in or out. We are back. I don't know even how to explain it to you, but I hope I'll be able to explain it in a way that you understand because it's very intriguing. When you buy this, you get a demo version where you have the Wi-Fi. Now I've already changed mine, but you get a demo version where you have the, like, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, you can be able to send me messages through the ESP and you can be able just to try it out and record and all these other things, which is nice to test with it. But now you come to discover that they have uh, the M M5 um, stack has a website where you can be able to go and get applications for it. So how it works is that you can be able to install the applications but it has to be one at a time. Once you're able to do that it becomes a little bit cumbersome because you have to constantly connect it to the computer and do this installation. Uh, there's an application that you can be able to get. You can download this. It's called Launcher which I have here. If I switch it, uh, let's I switch it off and then I switch it on. It has everything. But now, for me, I already have Bruce on it. So we'll get to Bruce. This is the main page of the launcher. With the launcher, instead of going online and downloading each and every app every time and using it, you can be able to use this without using the computer. So you connect to your Wi-Fi and then you can be able to go onto the online platform and then download your apps. All these are apps that you can be able to download. And then once you download, for example, I say, I want, let's just choose one, business card USB. Then I'll press okay, then option. And then it says the OTA is, do you want to download it to use it instantly? Or you can download it to the SD card. Then I choose okay, connect, then it downloads it. So you give it some time, depending on the network. The Wi-Fi is a little bit tricky. But now, once you've done that, you can be able to get all these systems that you can be able to use. And the main one is called Bruce. Now with Bruce, you can be able to do a lot. So you can be able to hack networks. You can be able to use the Bluetooth to you know, spoof, to do different things. And it's so interesting because let's say I can create a fake Bluetooth iPod pairing and send it to someone and then the person will connect and they can be able to get their data, which you're not supposed to do and you should not do. The same with the Wi-Fi, I can be able to clone my Wi-Fi, put it out, and people will try to log in and I get the data and all things like that. And the same also, I can create free Wi-Fi. And that's the thing, I wanted to 
talk about it in a way that we need to understand. Sometimes when you're in public places and you see free Wi-Fi, do not attempt to connect because they use systems like that to be able to get your data because what they do is they give you a uh, free Wi-Fi and then you connect to it and it can create that. It's possible to create that using one of those uh, applications called, let's say like Bruce and many others. You can be able to go and create a free Wi-Fi hotspot and then it will require the person to, it, it sends you to a page like Google and then it says your name and password. So you put, because you think, oh, come on, it looks like Google. So you put your name and you put your password and then I get the data. I get your name, your password. I get even more details if I want. Now, once I have your name and your password, I can be able to do pretty much a lot with that. So that's the where it will end you. And you will, might end up in jail if you're using it for that purpose. But if you are using it to educate then it makes a lot of sense and if you're using it for for other fun purposes then it makes a lot of sense so now once i have downloaded my app i can be able to go to the sd for example press ok and then now i have my downloads what do i want to do I want radio and then i install it so you see it saves me the time from going online connecting to the computer and then getting the apps and downloading them so they are at my hand then it looks now this is radio this is mario andretti you know me as a race car driver but mostly these personalities but i've never met more vibrant amazing people than a senior served by meals on wheels And it can carry on like that. I can put radio, I control my TV, I jam the Bluetooth, I can do the same with the Wi-Fi, play Game Boy games on this, I can play Snake, I can code, I can add Arduino on it, I can practically do everything and anything in it. It's, it's crazy. So now I can be able to put, let's say, to Bluetooth, and then I'll say Apple Juice, and then I'll say, okay, so I say Apple. So it will send me, as you can see, it asks me if I want to connect, but this is not an uh, authentic AirPod. And then now imagine if I have something that I want to add to it with the Wi-Fi the same, let's say, the same beacon. And this is where it gets very, very interesting. So we have, so I only have Toast and I have DSK2 Studio Camera, the camera that I'm using, for example. Now, if I go here and I say Beacon Funny, I can go and press OK. Now look at what it happens. It starts creating other spots. Free, no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi here. And it will keep on giving it names and creating. The more I search, the more it, look. That's how much it has created on the phone. So I'm picking up on this and all these are locked, but that's how powerful this system is. So let me just exit. And it can carry on like that. So for me, I will... So imagine if someone would, you know, if, we, if we, you can possibly jam networks, you can possibly, and it's still going on. It's not like, look, it's still going on. The password is one, two, the creep next, ignore, ignore pretty test fly for Wi-Fi, wi ignore pretty fly for Wi-Fi, router wi -fi, keying and the rest, router keying and the rest. So we try to get out of this. Once you get the, the M5 launcher, then it allows you and gives you the possibility for you to be able to install all these other ones. I'm not going to specify whether Bruce is the best app or the radio or this or this. I think it's if you are planning to get it, I think it's good for you to get all of them, experiment and see which one is your favorite. And it gives you tons of things to learn about, to do, to check out. And if you're doing it in a controlled environment, I don't want to put you in a situation where you get into trouble. Don't go 
hacking other people's systems and Wi-Fi and getting personal people's information. But for, for teaching, like for example, my son, we have conversations about things like this. It's very important for us to know what's happening around our environment so that you can be a little bit aware. So that's basically it. So the CAD, CAD printer for me, I'm going to use it for my project as a keyboard. But the cyber deck that I'm building has a, I can show you. 99% of the thing is ready. So I have this as a keyboard and it's packed with all that. So if you're hacking a system, if you're doing all those things, you have the possibility to do that just by with this by itself. But I can also connect it via Bluetooth to have a keyboard. And with the keyboard, if I'm using the Raspberry Pi, it will be able to, I can be able to use it to type and do all those things. And then I have the Raspberry Pi that will have the speakers, the screen. So I'm basically finished. I'm just waiting for a few things to perfect. And you know, the fans will sit at the park there. And then, so basically that's how it's going to look from an angle. But it's important, it was important for me to explain this in a separate video uh, because I think it deserves its own explanation. And there's a bit more that I have left that I don't want to discuss about, but you will understand why. Behind is magnetic. And if I take this out, sometimes it's such a mission, but you can be able to take it out. If I, if I take this out, if, 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 I, if I take this out today, maybe tomorrow, it's like the push of uh, cars. It's like the push of computers. 